they're used to. The Generals want to wear down the defense in the first and second period, make them feel it come the third. Here's Verhage with a step around Murray. Here's Verhage to the net and a rebound, and that one's under Carter Verhage. Wilkie takes a bump from Latour. Castles will keep the puck in deep. Latour can't find it. And it'll be set ahead for Perlini for Verhage. And right away, Hosang a shot. Appleby got the glove on it. And ahead comes Hunter Smith the other way. Three on two. The trailer was Castles. Couldn't handle the pass. And it's swatted by Maletta back into the Oshawa zone. Mermis. That's a giveaway. Hosang has Maletta out front. Couldn't get him the puck. And now we'll just send it around the boards for Jenkins. He's wrapped up by Carlisle. Mermis comes in to poke the puck free. And the Calgary second rounder, Hunter Smith, will start away to Castles. Castles two on two with Latour. Smith trying to catch up. Castles trying to flip to himself between the defenders. Now we'll try and put it deep. And the Ice Dogs will get it to the line. Kept in by the captain. Brown in front, a loose puck. And it's cleared, and Jenkins hit it out through center to Kelly Agard. Agard, rink wide pass. That's broken up by Pechnig. Hosang peels off to back, and they certainly made a game of it early in the third before the Oscar Generals were able to recover and settle down with a couple of goals. Those minutes that they play, a lot of minutes, are not easy minutes against a big, bruising Oshawa Generals team, Exhibit A. Exhibit A, indeed, as Fitzmorris ran into Pechenig. By the OHL, Wallace goes on to score in Game 3, but in a losing effort as the Ice Dogs have their own victory of the series, 7-3. Here's Michael Dow Cole, hooks the puck out front, only white jerseys there, and Billy Jenkins... Who had a hat trick in game three. Started back the other way. He takes a big hit from Carlisle. Smith in there, loses the puck to Jenkins for the moment, but Carlisle has got it. And the defender will start the rush. Got Dow Cole with him. Carlisle tried to get it across to Dow Cole, broken up. And now back the other way comes Hosang, one on one against Mistily, the forward. Drops for Jenkins. Jenkins wires a shot, and that one is blocked in front. And Dow Cole takes a bump from behind. We'll get a penalty coming, and a two on one's going the other way. Mistily and Castles. Mistily a shot. Scores! Barring in, delayed penalty coming up there as Hayden steps up to make the hit on Dow Cole. That leaves McQuitch alone on the two on one, and Mistily. A perfectly placed shot off the bar and in gloves. It's negated. Now Harding steals a puck out front for Castles. Castles around one. Hayden with a good poke check swept the stick around and got the puck. Well, a good defensive play when it looked like Hayden may have been caught by the move of Castles. Well, Castles has it right back. Gives it to Dow Cole. Dow Cole waits, shoots. This is the near post. Mermis along shot floats high and wide. Carlisle will step in to keep the puck alive. Castles misses it in the corner. Rawson takes a hit from Hunter Smith. And Hosang's got the puck. Takes a bump from Dow Cole. A couple of Islanders prospects. Battle for the puck. Moletta and Carlisle now as Moletta sends it. Jenkins sends it to Moletta and battles against Castles deep. Moletta takes a look out front, swings it towards Hosang. Brosnan thought about pinching and thought better of it as Hunter Smith was coming the other way. And he'll get it to Castles and head to the net. Drop for Dow Cole. Michael Dow Cole, a shot. Good stop by Hope. Hey, pretty much any line that's out on the ice has someone dangerous that can score. Brown will send the puck in for Oshawa. Castles. He's had a 10-minute misconduct for... Arguing with an official in the third period. Created some of the tense moments. DJ Smith was not happy to lose his top defender. As he's going to lose his top scorer right now. Michael it from going out, so Perlini will keep it in. Now McCarron trying to win a race against Siebenhaller. It's pinned against the boards. Look out, a set up for Perlini. Hayden will take a bump from Dow Cole. Eggard will get it ahead to Fitzmorris. He makes a move around DeRoche, but then gets dropped in front of the Oshawa bench. And the puck is... Walker's side just misses the post. They're outshot last night, 34-26. It's the first time in the playoffs they've been outshot. Siebenhaller moves in. Siebenhaller a shot. Appleby the save. Rebound sits at the edge of the crease for a moment. And Mermis will get it off the glass. Kept in by Siebenhaller. Great speed by Blake Siebenhaller to get all the way around the zone and back to keep it in. But now he's got to get back as Dow Cole brings it back the other way. Dow Cole is shot. And he was looking five-hole and 
Getting down into the butterfly quickly was hoped but couldn't get around. Mermis gets knocked down. Mermis will retrieve the puck. Maletta in with a big bump on Mermis. Back the other way. Three on two come the Generals. Carlisle getting back, beating Hosang back. Here's Carlisle, the trailer, and a blocker. Playoff time. They start chat about him off the top. Eight points in four games in this series for the Generals. Here's Perlini. Perlini shot. He's deflected off the stick of Petchnig. Brown will try and sweep it around. And it's Verhage who gets it back. Carter Verhage, the Niagara captain. Leaves it the line for Mikulovic. His shot is way wide. And Dal Cole takes a look. He's got time to get it out and does for Brown. Brown to Castles. Castles trying to feed back to Brown. Oh, left it at the side of the net. Brown couldn't wrap it around. And so Castles will get in and take a bump from Mikulovic and send the puck around. Hunter Smith got the loose hand free, dragged down Hayden. Hayden with the pump back on Hunter Smith. Now he gets a punch to Smith, and hey, they let the one on Smith go, so they let one on Hayden go, and I'm fine with that. Puck's now underneath Smith, and he's trying to get back up. Hayden's not letting it happen, and something's going to come out of this. It's the puck onto the stick of Dal Cole. Dal Cole tries to turn and fire. That one hit Verhage. Battle continues with Smith and Hayden. Back to the point goes the puck. Petchening. Sends it around again. Castles in behind the net. Smith and Hayden still battling. Now Mikulovic is on top of Castles. And Petchenig will pinch way in and keep the puck alive. The crowd doesn't like it, but good physical play from this Ice Dogs defensive pair. And it's being let go both ways now. A stick of Defruja out of his hands. And Defruja's got to race back to the bench to get a new stick. Does Lindbergh a quick shot. What a save by Hope. Dal Cole and Van de Sample. Dal Cole pulls it back. Now a shot. Hope makes the long. If you haven't seen it, hit up YouTube. Hunter Smith and Aaron Hayden. Van de Sample will keep a puck in. Ten seconds left in the period. Van de Sample has to take it. Escapes to Dal Cole. A shot. That one didn't miss the far side by much. Here's Castles back to Van de Sample. Shoots and just wide. We look at the end of the first period. The Generals buzzing around the net. The buzzer goes to break that up. And right away they get an offside. And everything's a little choppy. And before you know it, the power play's almost over. Mitchell Van de Sample gives to Dal Cole. I miscorrected myself. If that's something you can do. Dal Cole Roger does Clemens. have his... 12th point of the series, 19th of the playoffs. Well, the first period goal by Mistley. Misremember. 15 seconds left, that's right. In the power play, as Dow Cole gains the line, Castles will just slash it around. And just the one goal to speak of, though, here as we're early in the second. Generals were first in the Eastern Conference in goals four in the regular season. Niagara Race Dogs third, just four goals behind the Barry Colts. And their vaunted offense. 300 point first line. We need to score a couple more goals against the defense of the North Bay Battalion if they want to stay in the playoffs. They'll play again tomorrow. Boy, is that an uphill task. Have to win three in a row, the Colts do, to keep their season alive. Now Cole. Trying to keep a puck in. Jenkins falling awkwardly, but gets it ahead to Hosang with Maletta. Josh Hosang looks for Maletta. Hosang keeps the puck around the back pass. A nice one to find Wilkie. He can't get the puck out front. Taken in the end boards by Hunter Smith. And Carlisle will start ahead to Castles. Castles with Dal Cole. Dal Cole trying to get around Hosang. Castles' shot is blocked. Harding stepping off the bench will keep the puck in from the trunk of Corneal on that play. A clear slash and an easy call. Cornel, to his credit, didn't embellish it whatsoever. Took the slash and remained going. So, power play, Niagara. So far in the playoffs, Niagara's power play working at a 21.1% clip. That's eight. Here's Defrusha with a couple of six sixes and the defense for the most part over 6-4. As Latour takes one off the leg, he'll go straight to the bench as well. And Latour goes straight down the tunnel to try and walk that one off. That looked like a hit right at the top of the skate. Here's Maletta. Cross ice looking for Jenkins. That one broken up. Hayden from the point. Goes across to Mantha. Hayden wants it back. We'll get it now. Hayden will wind. No. Send it down to Jenkins in front looking for Payne. That one hit the referee. Penalty over. DeRoche back on. And Peterson will swipe the puck down the ice. No result, but a much better man advantage for the Ice Dogs. Let's see if they can build some momentum off that man advantage. They're still back on the attack. Payne. Sending it deep for Maletta. He's got Sorelli's stick all wrapped up and now drops him down. And Petschnig will take the loose puck ahead for Peterson. Peterson will dump it in. Lee. 
Oshawa faithful. Let the referees know what they think of the call. Power play for 7-2 in favor of the Ice Dogs last night. And the Generals had some questionable questions for the refereeing at the end of the game, but it doesn't matter. They came out on top. Poor volunteers. Or poor, pardon me. Pick up from Mistily as well. And Niagara gets the puck inside the Oshawa zone, but Cole Castles is there and will start away to Turner. Turner wants a change, and so we'll head off. And Dow Cole will pop back on with Castles and Hunter Smith. As Agard tips, and Appleby forced to stop it. Here's Dow Cole trying to chip it into some free ice for Hunter Smith. That doesn't work. Carlisle will get it back, sends it ahead, and Dow Cole will just tip it into the far corner. Hunter Smith gives chase. He'll give Siebenhaler a bump. Puck comes free. Dow Cole in front. Couldn't connect with the pass from Castles. And Perlini will start back the other way. Bank pass looking for Fitzmorris. That's taken away from him by Pechenik. He'll send it ahead. And the point with Van de Sample. Castles wins the draw. Goes off the skate of Defrugia. And that'll give Manta a chance. Ice Dogs have got some serious practice. I think they've hit the net about six times on long clears. Well, they certainly hope that's the case. The Gems are looking for a late goal with the goalie out. And Dow Cole to Castles. Back to Dow Cole. It's to Cole Castles. Long shot. Hope. Big, Mantha certainly did a great job of doing that. Yeah, I like that. A handful. 6 6 2 15 is a handful. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big handful. <laughs> That's a huge hand. Here's Castles across for Dow Cole. And that you don't see very often. Dow Cole had to readjust. And One from that. Power play this time moves up to the wing. McCarran mistily join him up front. Castles takes over the point with Van de Sample. Here's Dow Cole. Looks back to Castles. Cross to Van de Sample. McCarran's in front. Van de Sample tried to pass it back. Lost the handle on it. Steven Aller a chance to get it out. And to work on the general's power play. Dow Cole all tied up by DeFrusha. Van de Sample will keep it in at the point. Feeds to Castles. Castles back to Dow Cole. That was a wired pass. And Van de Sample gets it back at the point to Castles again. Castles with a move down to Mistily. Mistily trying to hook it back out front. McCarran didn't see it. Castles has it at the near point. Castles walking in. Castles, a shot scores! Hope got a lot of it, but it's marker for the Oshawa Generals. We're in the last five minutes of play here in the second period. The Gens lead 2 0. No Wait. general in front. Mantha's fourth line. It from their fourth line. Being soft deep in the Niagara zone. Hunter Smith plays around for Dow Cole. Now Cole back to Smith. That one tipped away from him by Mikulovic. Long shot from Carlisle is tipped wide. Payne gets the puck to Mikulovic. And away a pass for Jenkins. Billy Jenkins across the line. Stops, leaves for Maletta. Payne heads towards the net. It's the puck in the corner. Try to feed it back out front for Maletta. Doesn't work. And Castles and Dow Cole start back the other way. Carlisle jumping up into the rush as well. Pass across for Carlisle. Chris Carlisle and diving across Hayden to block it. Now Dow Cole sees Lindbergh coming in. Gets it to the point. Mermis long shot. And that one high over top of the net. 90 seconds left in the second period. Mermis from the point, trying to get a lane to the net. That one hit Jenkins. Lindbergh gets his stick free from Hayden, takes it into the corner, twisting and weaving. Lindbergh again, now pinned to the board by Hayden. Cooper Canucks for Hagee, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Starts with Fitzmorris and Perlini. As Mitchell Fitzmorris, who's been great in this series, especially in this building, gets the call up to the top line. Expect Cole Castle to be matched up against this Carter Hagee line no matter who his wingers are for this entire third period. And DJ Smith has got Petching and Brown is shut down defenseman on the ice as well and with last change you can expect to see them up against Carter Verhage. Josh Hosang on the bench for Niagara so who will line up against him defensively like by the defense even though gets back in time flips for Mantha and a long shift by Mistily but he keeps the puck alive in the Niagara zone Castles now and he's got Peterson with him and with Verhage out there Castles jumped over right away Perlini couldn't get that loose puck at center and Mistily who's still on the ice went on for a long time gives Wilkie a bump turns over the puck here's Brown Take it a lane to the net, puts it into the corner. Mistily dragged down, penalty coming again. In so far now in the third, takes a penalty on an inopportune time. I think most of that penalty, tough call to take. The third period, game five of a series. And so, as you said, must kill. Here's Lindbergh popping right down the middle. Lindbergh all tied up, rebound comes out, they score! It's Castles 
second of the night on the rebound. That right there is why he's the most valuable forward on the Oshawa Generals. And it's all started by the hard work of Tobias Lindbergh winning the battle for the loose puck. Castles picks up the garbage. And Here's Manta, long pass ahead for Hosang. Josh Hosang, caught by Carlisle, who'll tip the puck by. Smith will just flip it towards the blue line. Bronson on his horse, keeps it in, now gets by Castles. Long shot, scores! Third period, number 11, Perlini tried to win it forward. Castles stole it back, and he and Dal Cole are back the other way, two on two. Castles to Dal Cole, flips ahead for Castles. Broken up, but Dal Cole is trying to get by Hayden, who's lost his stick. Hayden will try and pin it in the corner. Hunter Smith fell on the loose stick. Kind of of pressure on the shoulders of Blake Siebenhaller offensively and defensively. As he'll quarterback the power play. And has to take a shutdown roll as well. And so far, he's got his team within one. Game four was just 24 hours ago as well. Back-to-back -back games for the Gens and the Ice Dogs. Well, that's huge, too. When you think about the effort the Ice Dogs had to put into mounting a, a possible comeback last night, the top line was out a lot. I think you're starting to see the effects of that wearing on the likes to change. And the Castles line will come out with Hunter Smith and Michael Dal Cole. DJ with Castles and Smith dropping Bradley Latour off that. Now Michael Dal Cole playing very important minutes as far as defensive responsibility goes. How will he adjust as he, of course, is a very offensive mind player? For Hagee, getting back. Dal Cole in deep. Michael Dal Cole skates around, finds Castles. Castles not in a position to shoot. Now Dal Cole trying to flip it by Verhage. Castles battles with Perlini, gets the puck in deep for Hunter Smith. Smith leaves for Dal Cole. Dal Cole to the point to Brown. Walks the line across for Pechenik. He just sends it into the corner. Hunter Smith in there with Castles as well. Castles comes up with the puck. Castles wants to cycle it down for Smith, battling against Verhage. Verhage lands on top of Smith. Pechnik will keep it into the point, just send it down into the corner again. And Perlini will get a chance to get it out. Turns with it, looks ahead. He's got Verhege and Paqueta. Smith ahead for Defruja. Mikulovic gets it back. Mikulovic leading the rush, takes a couple of hooks, stays with it. Hunter Smith loses the puck to Knott. Knott tied up. Seaman all her long shot. Defruja a shot, and he sent it over the net. Knott will keep it in. This for the moment, though, Hunter Smith following up will get it ahead. Smartly gets to center, just wants to dump it in. Takes a bump from Defruja. Defruja trying to push. Either way, you know what? I don't mind this. You don't want a power play deciding a hockey game, but Defruja's got to be a little smarter in this situation, knowing the time left. Mantha loses his stick, grabs one right from the bench. And the puck is deep in the Niagara zone. You have to think the Ice Dogs will welcome this four on four extra space to generate offense. It's Verhege and Perlini. Perlini over skates it. Verhege gets it back across to Siebenhaller. Winds fire. At 6 4, had the stick dragged out and went down with it. And now it's a four on three power play for 13 seconds. Dow Cole to the net. Castles just missed wide. Maletta picks it up. Defrusha and Smith back to their feet. Pucks in, Fitzmorris chasing it down. Brown will turn with it. Fitzmorris falls. And now Brown runs into Defrusha coming out of the box. Dal Cole to Castles. Castles scores! In and out, 4-2, Oshawa, 2-18. Cole Castles with an absolute dagger of a goal. It's a soft penalty, but it is still one where Hosang ran into the goaltender or made caught. Steven Aller. Hope is making his way to the bench now as Defrusha tips the puck in. Pechenik loses the battle to Maletta. Comes out front for Hagee. Trying to get the puck to sit. Can't. Rolls off of his stick. Manta can't keep it in. Rolling end over end. Hunter Smith's got Niagara stick. And so the forecheck is on. Hunter Smith with a bump on Jenkins. Steven Aller. Long lead pass for Defrusha. Last minute of play in the third period. Jenkins gets by the hit of Pechenik. For Hagee. Overskates the puck. Manta turning across the blue line. Siebenhaller winds, fires, stopped by Appleby. McCarron to the boards, wants to pin it there, set out front. Pechenig will race for it. He'll just wire it off the boards, and Dow Cole will get it out to center. 35 seconds left. Manta wires it in. That one hit Brown, and Brown's in a heap of pain, and it's headed up. 
And Usha takes a look out front, wires it off the goaltender Appleby. Loose puck, Latour gets it out to center. 18 seconds left, and the General Motors Center Hosang is coming is to its feet. Ripped and onto the bench by his coach. Josh Hosang was up on top of the bench, and Dave Bell is screaming at him right now to stay on. He's not headed out. He's not headed out. Darren is just going to try and win this to the boards. He does. Payne is there. We'll send it around. And the Oshawa Generals.